Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And I am in town. I had to bring Brian in for his dental appointment because his foot is still bad. He can't really drive. Well, he can drive, but he can't get his scooter in and out of the car and all that stuff. So I brought him in for his dental appointment. And I thought to myself, I need to come down to the chef's store because I'm still looking for mushrooms. I want to do mushrooms, but I want to get really, really nice mushrooms. So I thought I would bring you along in the chef store because I know that I talk a lot about the chef store and I get a lot of my supplies and things that I can here. It's a restaurant supply store. And I want to show you the difference between this type of restaurant supply store and say Costco. Our Costco, I love to go to Costco, but it's like two hour drive away. And so I get most of my canned, big number 10 canned stuff here, um, meat, a lot of vegetables, and I'm looking for the mushrooms because I want to can some more of them. And honestly, they have like five pounds of mushrooms, and I think it's like 16 bucks. And if you look at the prices of canned mushrooms, an eight ounce jar can go anywhere from a couple bucks all the way up to like four or five bucks. So I want to do my own, and I just like doing it. So let's go in and see what it looks like inside the chef store. Okay, they have these pallets and stuff, got cases of things, but I always get this little cart and I'm going to head inside and I'll show you like they've got dairy, meat, and vegetables. So let's go look. Okay, so this inside the front door and see. Okay, <laughs> I just told him I was doing a video in here. Um, so anyway, here's where they have this and honestly, I think their, their dairy might be more expensive, but you can get pretty good deals. But see, this is the dairy section and they've got eggs down here like 289 for an 18 pack not bad this is where you get the cheap ones um a lot of that kind of stuff so let's head back out and we're going to go down the main aisle okay here is like your coffee your little coffee places that you drive through now if you're talking like starbucks or any of those corporate things or restaurants like Oh, Outback or um, Olive Garden. Those are all corporate and their stuff's delivered. But if you want to find this kind of a store, what you need to do is check with like your local uh, little restaurants or even food trucks because this is where locally they're going to get their stuff. And even some of these little, uh, the little coffee, drive through coffee, look at all of those. Those are all of the awesome mixes I guess you'd call them for cough flavored coffees and all the, as Brian calls them the foo-foo coffees and so these are pretty cool I know a lot of people that just buy them here and have them on their counters we'll go in there in a minute that's a fruit one and this is the meat room and this is poor Linda and I can't buy meat here but I've got meat here a lot that I've canned in fact I'll show you the freezer section and this is where I got my chicken breasts that my friend Tammy told me were on sale and then I just had to buy more so there's that there's a cheese um, section there and then if we go in here let's take a look at the meat in here it's kind of loud because they've got air conditioning ah! and fans going but see fresh chicken and I bought chicken breast here uh, this is fresh but they also have frozen so this is a pretty good deal. $11.99. That's not bad. Look at that. We've got nice big pieces of meat. Um, you can get this and slice it yourself. You can get this and can it. So, like, that's a nice big piece. But you know I can't buy it because I'm on my meat challenge. These are beautiful cheese. Oh, my gosh. Totally would love that. Um, there's the grated cheese. And see, here's some more. Um, and the meat will go on sale. And I've come down many times and got meat uh, that I've used for canning. Uh, you can get the ground beef and then break it up and put it in your freezer. And so this is awesome. Now we're going to head out and we'll go down one of the other aisles. Okay, I'm coming down to the produce like produce alley here and this is where I'm gonna look for my mushrooms so I'm gonna park my cart outside and head in here and the tomatillos got your jalapenos if you want to do a whole bunch of the jalapeno jam and how much is that 
that a package of four pounds is seven dollars and twenty cents for those jalapenos and then they've got all the cucumbers i don't think they have the tiny cucumbers for pickling i'm not sure we've got nice peppers there's your onions all chopped udon noodles they've got the little wonton wrappers for 209 and you get a double pack that's i think a lot cheaper than at the store uh, the regular store they have your your vegan type um i think it's oh no this is chipotle sausage i wonder why these are in there i always thought that oh they're plant-based that's right i knew they were plant-based but then i just read this and then here on the package it says plant-based so they, these are delicious by the way um so many good things if you're making uh coleslaw for a crowd there's your big bag of broccoli slaw you don't have to chop that up if you want to can carrots and you don't grow them right there um let's take a look at the mushrooms see up here i don't like that these have so many spots on them although those don't look too bad but down here five pounds oh those are pretty mushrooms all right i'm gonna get that guy perfect well what's this one look nope that's a better one so I'm going to get this and then I'll take it out. I need two hands, so I'm going to take it out to my cart. Okay, now we're going to come along this back wall where all your citrus and things are. So there's all these awesome... Get you, see, I could get the tomatoes here to do my canning, but it's just easier if I'm using Mrs. Wages because they calculated it out to do it by the you know, um, canned tomatoes. So I get them here, but see, big bags of pasta. Like this big, look at the noodles, like amazing. And those are easily broken down into smaller storage. Huge thing of spaghetti. Look at this, bow ties. I think $9 for that big thing. So this is what I've done for years. I've come here and got these things, and then what I've done is I have, um, you know, stored them in my pantry, like package them in smaller um, packaging to store properly. And you know, if you want to dehydrate jalapenos, right there you go. Get yourself a can of those, $6. And you would have literally, I cannot tell you how many jalapenos. Um, also, here's a good place to get. Now here's where I get the diced tomatoes that I use for the Mrs. Wages that require, that on the package has been calculated for diced tomatoes. So um, this is what I get. And I look on the side and all it has in it is tomatoes and citric acid, which is fine. That's all you need. Vine ripe tomato with juice. Um, so I use those. Now I'm going to do another recipe that I came and got the tomato paste. Um, so that I can do my jars of tomato soup from Mrs. Wages, which is awesome. But here you have just like bunches of stuff. They're, oh, and down here, you can uh, dehydrate, you know, you can dehydrate things like if you don't grow them, you can dehydrate your, like beets, you can dehydrate. The sweet potatoes, this is actually awesome. I've done this, where I've used this and I've put it on my, like a fruit leather and I've dehydrated it and then grind it into powder and then all you do is mix it up for the consistency that you like and it's that's awesome for kids' food, like baby food. And then here's all the cans of stuff. And I have one of my son's favorite things for me to dehydrate. Let me see if they've got it. Well, they don't have the big can right now, but um, the mixed, where it's got like pineapple, these are great, pineapple and mixed fruit, um, they're really good. Okay, we're going to head around, oh, there it is, the fruit cocktail, there, the tropical fruit salsa. This, the fruit salad, this is my son's favorite thing for me to dehydrate and put it in a package, and he takes that when he goes and does his work up in the top of trees, because that's what he does, he's a tree guy. So let's go to the next aisle. Okay, this is all your syrups look at that maple syrup syrups here um here's like your different kinds of milks i'm just gonna walk down and kind of show you guys what's in here so i'm not sure like i'm sure that you can get all this at 
Costco. I'm just used to coming here because this is, ooh, there's your smoothie mix. Um, Cause I've just had to for so long because our Costco is too far away. And then, that's how your restaurants make the really good pancakes. All right, let's go down. Oh, look at the ginger. Ooh, that is nice looking ginger. And that's five, well, 5.75, that's not bad. Ooh, look at the organic garlic, yummy. Okay, so if you don't grow this stuff and you wanna can, it's a good way to do it. And honestly, I wonder, I need to compare, cause ooh, they have malted milk. I haven't seen that in years. Um, I need to compare and see if this is, like if the things I get here are cheaper than the Costco ones. Cause I've never really done that and I should. There's some nuts. I do get my nuts at Costco though. Cause these are pieces and I like the whole thing. Ah, there was, here we are. You know how I often use milk powder, not instant milk. This is it, milk powder. So I get it here, the five pound bag. And this is basically dehydrated milk and it's not puffed up to be instant. So you, you it takes longer to, to rehydrate. But this is what I've used in a lot of my video, my recipes, so that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna head over to the other aisle. Okay, there's a guy working down here. But, Here's where I did uh, sweet and sour pickles one time. I dehydrated them and I just got a big can, a big jug like that. It was so good. They were like pickle candy. And then over here's all your hot sauce. There you go. Vinegars, and I want to show you a vinegar. You need to make sure, because I actually got a vinegar one time and it was a 4% vinegar. So you always wanna to look to make sure your vinegars are 5%. So I'm not sure which one it was, but I still have it at home. What is this? Malt vinegar? I love malt vinegar. Um, okay, we're gonna head down here and look at some more. Okay, there was a guy stalking, so I didn't want him to have to move. How's it going? Uh, so we're gonna head up. Oh, yeah, see there's the goodies aisle. That's where Brian likes me to go. We get the bar mix up there. That one's so good. It's a great place to come for your Halloween candy. Just saying. And then if you want to be super cool and hand out a fortune cookie at every meal, even though you're not cooking Chinese food, that there's how you do it. <laughs> I do want to get some of these crackers. I'm going to get... Mushrooms and crackers. I'm excited about these mushrooms. And I've got some other stuff to show you about mushrooms. So, oh, I need to, okay, here's all your rice. And then down here, these are all your beans, like lentils, black pea, garbanzo. This is, I've, this is where I bought my beans. And I've packaged them and had them for years. So that's where I do that. And now I'm gonna head down the refrigerator aisle because the next two aisles are just cleaning supplies. Oh, and drinks, like Red Bull drinks. Those are all your cleaning supplies and your paper goods. And honestly, some of those are awesome for leftovers. And then in here is where you're gonna come down to the refrigerated coolers. So this is all your freezer stuff. So I'm gonna head in here and show you where I got my chicken. You know, I am waiting for, there's people in there and I'm waiting for them. I actually have gotten a container of these or there's ones that are made out of a paper. They're uh, biodegradable. And oh, there's some. And I've taken those to like a potluck for what the end of the potluck, people can fill up their stuff and take leftovers home, which is awesome. Okay, we're going in the freezer. So cold in here, but it's awesome. Okay, so over here, remember when I got those boneless, skinless chicken breasts that my friend Camp Tammy called and said 40 pound packages are on sale? They were on, they're normally $73.55 for this big box of 40 pounds of those beautiful chicken breasts. They're, they were on sale for like 50 something, I think. But look at here, get your fries. You throw those in the freezer if you're a big French fry eater. But down both sides, it's just frozen stuff. And it's restaurant quality. So if you wanna make 
seafood like you get in a restaurant. Right there you go. I mean, look at the breaded scallops, crab meat. This is where the restaurants get the stuff that they sell you that is amazing. All right, let's head down the rest of the aisle. Okay, then coming down to this end, and this is where you're gonna get like meatballs and chicken wings. I love the chicken wings. And uh, there's your packages. There's that awesome macaroni and cheese that you order off the restaurant and think, ooh, that's so good. And here you go. Okay, this is a perfect way to dehydrate uh, vegetables. If you don't grow them and you don't have a whole bunch that you, um, you know, that you get, but you want to really build a good pantry, come here and get things like these big packages. I did, I think, four five pound packages of corn and like I have corn for life I'm telling you but this is a great way to do it watch for the sales and then get these great big bags and put them straight on the dehydrator and let it go and you will have dehydrated vegetables and here's your soups the raviolis and stuff these are actually awesome these are the sausage topping that they put on pizzas so if you want if you want a pizza like they have at the store or at the restaurant those are good too all right, and then there's your frozen avocados, and guacamole, and then there's the, the good things like the, the whole mushrooms. Oh, those are so good, like your appetizer. This is like the appetizer section. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the supplies. Oh, this is kind of a new-ish case. They used to have all of their um, like liquor stuff, like margarita mixes and stuff over here, but now they've got this, and these are all like your peaches. It's a good thing to dehydrate if you wanna build a supply without and you don't have access to a bunch of fresh peaches there's even sliced bananas and you know what I've used those to dehydrate and they've turned out wonderful and then there's all your muffins and your cheesecakes and then over here if you have a home bar or a party it's where you get your stuff and then down here another one of my favorite sections is all the cooking supplies like oh man do I need one of these? I don't know. I don't think so, but that's super cute. And then the bottles, pitchers, and these are marvelous. I use these for like, I'm gonna use the one that's that size for soaking my mushrooms. And they have all different little sizes. These are really nice if you're a canner because they're measured in quarts, it's nice. And then the other stuff like here that you see like on the restaurant tables, aprons, labeling um and then the spices this is where we end up in a lot of fun actually i need cinnamon just use the end of my cinnamon it looks like they're out of powdered cinnamon but they have great spices so so there it is my favorite restaurant supply store is our old cash and carry it's now called the chef store and i love it if you have one of these go because they have awesome deals so i hope you enjoyed this quick little tour and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video